You know, I wanted to do a video and I wanted to talk about different topics and I didn't want to do an individual video for these topics. So I'm about to go ahead and get right to the video. Now, the first topic I wanted to discuss was Nintendo. Yes, Dirt Griggity is talking about Nintendo. I am not a fan of Nintendo, but hey, I give everyone a shot. I give everyone a chance. And the Nintendo Switch is doing extremely well. Um, so last year, we heard rumors about a Nintendo Switch Pro coming out. It will have 4K support and things like that and upgrades and everything. But um, Nintendo has announced uh, the Nintendo Switch OLED model, which is... which. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me finish. Um, meet the newest entry to the Nintendo Switch family. Nintendo Switch OLED model brings the versatility of the Nintendo Switch experience with a vibrant 7-inch OLED screen, a wide adjustable stand, and more. Nintendo Switch OLED model releases on October 8th. <laughs> <laughs> October 8th. Listen, I'm sorry to laugh. Uh, so apparently this is the same Nintendo Switch with a bigger screen, a better dock, I guess, a new dock. <laughs> the same battery. <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Uh, so yeah, no 4K support. Uh, it seems like people was uh, they were wrong for saying the Nintendo Switch Pro was coming. <laughs> It's the Nintendo Switch OLED. OLED. <laughs> oh, my God. So, Nintendo, once again, shows their fans that they don't give a shit. They're going to do what they want to do. <laughs> it's 2021, and they refuse to upgrade their hardware. The PS5, Xbox Series X, and S is absolutely... <laughs> powerful consoles and the were like we don't give a shit about that you know yes I, I know it's selling well and uh nintendo is nintendo but damn oh well nintendo strikes again ladies and gentlemen next up sony has a brand new state of play arriving this thursday and um they're going to talk about death loop uh, a deep dive of death loop also Updates on indies and exciting third-party games. Don't you love it when Sony does a state of play showing off an Xbox first-party studio game? I think that's absolutely great. I can't wait to see Deathloop. I can't wait to get it on my Xbox next year sometime. And yes, state of play is Sony's big event. Uh, I'm sure they're going to have another event soon, but as of right now, State of Play showcasing Deathloop is this Thursday. Um, I'm going to watch it. Like I said, I'm excited for Deathloop. And damn, who would have thought they was... Listen, who would have thought this day would happen where Sony is showcasing a Xbox first-party studio game? Damn, what a time to be a gamer. Holy shit. The last topic I want to discuss is about xbox smart delivery now when xbox announced smart delivery last year before the xbox series came out some people was like what is this stupid shit smart delivery doesn't that just mean free upgrade well hell playstation is going to do the exact same thing and here we are eight months in, eight months into the generation and things haven't really turned out how these playstation fanboys expected it to I remember at one point guys were saying, why does the smart delivery work on control or NBA 2K? Because it's a buzzword. <laughs> or maybe because NBA 2K and control has next generation versions separate from the last generation version, buddy. Or well, how about this guy? Xbox smart delivery technology versus PC PS5. Free upgrades funny how you can take the same thing and make one sound superior using buzzwords <laughs> listen we know that playstation does upgrades yes the ps4 to the ps5 they do upgrades but the issue is it's much more difficult right xbox you just play the game it does it it just works 
it automatically updates the version to the Xbox Series version. Meanwhile, the PS4 to PS5, hey, listen, we remember that Avenger fiasco. How to migrate your save from PS4 to PS5. Launch the fully patched PS4 version. Go to the migration. Nobody's going to read all of that shit. Xbox Series just works. Smart delivery just works. Put in the disc. Download the game, whichever one. The saves go over. The game automatically updates to the next generation version. Simple as that. The reason we're talking about this again is because lately we've had a couple more third party games that has a whole process of getting your PS4 save and migrating to the PS5. Doom is Doom Eternal is one game and the Play Tale is another. So much crazy shit going on. I just want to play my games. I just want to play them. And shout out to Xbox for having smart delivery. It seems like they were preparing themselves for the future. They knew what was going to happen and they, you know, did what they had to do. And smart delivery is something that everybody is talking about because it's convenient for us. I want to play my games. I don't want to load some shit or save some shit on a PS4 and update the PS4 version and then go to the PS5. Too much. It's too much. Hell, they were saying even games like Doom Eternal, you have to start the whole game over. I don't know. I think they fixed that now, but it was an issue. You had to start the whole game over. If you played the game on the PS4, you made it halfway through the game, that save is completely gone. But like I said, I think they fixed that, but that's an absolute shit show. But I'm about to get up out of here. Guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel and you think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know when my black ass is doing some new content, baby. All right, everybody. Peace and love. Peace and love. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs>